welcome to a uh, kind of different sort of match analysis. Uh, my intention actually for this video was to do on court uh, coaching so that you would see immediately what I say and you would hear it, but then I forgot to turn on the microphone. So not my best moments, but I thought this is really good match play. So I'm doing it just what I do when I usually do match analysis. I'm just going to, you know, comment on some points. I don't comment on every single point, but when there is something to be said, I certainly will. Uh, my name is Micah Babel. I'm a former top 30 WTA pro. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm getting up close to a thousand subscribers, so help me get over that little hurdle. Um, and just to give you a little bit of a background about both players in the foreground here, you see Erica, she is um, about to go off to college, and you probably saw one or two of the latest videos she was in there and Faisal in the background as well, because as she's about to go off to college, um, I wanted her to have a little bit more match play and a little bit more uh, point play and since I can't really serve anymore Faisal was so nice and jumped in here so the one thing that we talked about before this uh, match play and you could have seen that had I turned on the microphone um, Erica wanted to work on a higher first serve percentage and moving the serve around and then also staying aggressive with her shot selection um, Faisal was uh, planning on just spreading the points out a little bit but because sometimes he tends to just uh, be a little too cute. So they both have specific goals and targets in their um, match play here and we'll just give it a shot. So I hope you like this video. I certainly enjoyed my session with them. So that's certainly a good start here. Good first serve. And yeah, what you're seeing there, that is me. That's what I look like when I coach because I uh, need some protection. So to stop it here, what we worked on a lot with Erica is because she is newer to tennis. I said she's going off to college, so she just turned 19. Um, she only started playing when she was nine, uh, when she was 12. So for a high performance player who goes th uh, to a, you know, who gets a college scholarship, for the most part now these days, kids start at eight, nine, 10 and compete at a very, very high level already. Uh, Erica hasn't. So one of the things that I really like about working with her is that she still has so much to learn. And one of the things that we really worked on was to be aggressive. And um, this is, I think, a really good example here. She's moving Faisal around and then stepping up to the shorter ball and going for a riskier ball, which is okay in that position. So good first serve, exactly what she had planned. I think that ball was a little deep there. And that was exactly what Faisal said he was gonna work on. So let's go back to this. And this is um, a really great pattern here. Wide serve. So we let this run. So he's just serving wide and then pulls Erica out. And then he's got the entire ad side open. So that's a pattern that I think he can use a lot. That is one of the more typical balls that I criticize when uh, Faisal is playing points. He sometimes gets too cute. And what I think in my mind he should have done is he's got a good kick serve. So it really pushes Erica out here and gets a pretty weak return. And then the deuce court is wide open and he wants to go um, and wrong foot Erica. So on that one, I would have liked for him to just go into the open court and set up a better volley. So that's something that he definitely has to work on. And 
And um, one of the things that I really like about this matchup is Faisal has a really good kick serve and a really unusual serve that Erica doesn't necessarily see a whole lot when she's playing other kids and certainly will not necessarily see in, um, in college tennis because women just serve a little differently or most women serve a little differently. Um, and she had a lot of issues in this first set. You'll see that. And I cut out some of the return mistakes um, to not necessarily bore you there. Um, but yeah, she had issues with the return and you see that action off the bounce. When Faisal is serving. So that is definitely something that she's going to have to work with. That's a really good return. And that's what we talked about also when you don't necessarily have a serve that you can attack. What is the return that neutralizes your opponent the most? So if you have this serve out to here somewhere, if you were to go down the line, then it, Faisal could just flip it cross court. But to go deep right back basically into Faisal's feet here, if he does want to change direction, he's going over the higher part of the net into the shorter part of the court. And of course it goes against his natural rotation. And that's actually what happened there. He pulls it wide a little bit because he hits it not 100% perpendicular. A really good body serve that's another one that she's worked on a lot nice job there and that again is one pattern here you see that the return also is a really good deep return so again just kind of neutralizing um, the server after a really good first serve and then the next ball here he could have done a little bit better the next ball Erica has she's doing a really good ball uh, job stepping up to the ball and you see that her feet are inside the baseline and that's when we talk about that is a good opportunity to be more aggressive and she's hitting a really good back in here A little hesitant here and that is exactly what I was talking about earlier a little bit those are the type of balls that if you've played match uh, play or tournaments for like almost 10 years by the time that you're going to college you're probably not gonna hesitate on that ball so an option would have been that she's really stepping up here and trying to take this on the rise right here but you see how she's moving back and then just She's just a little bit off balance. So those are the types of things that I think with match play is just something that she's gonna really get a lot better with. And a little lucky there. So I did edit out the um, first serve missed, first serves, um, but up to this point, Erica had a really good first serve percentage. So this is, I basically cut an entire return game out because she just didn't make any of the returns. So one of the things that she then resorted to is instead of full out swinging at the ball, The next one that's going to come up this one just blocking and chipping the ball and that's also something that she's a little newer to so that's another option when somebody's blasting serves is to step up and just punch the ball back basically block the ball back even if you miss it and i want to say that was a little shanked shank winner there here she's doing a really good uh, job moving back and giving ground, staying in the cross court rally, and then just overplaying that a little bit. Good 
job staying low on the ball there because you don't have time to give ground. That's a better backhand. And of course, that's a better approach. So Faisal did a much better job there moving his opponent. And that's just a really good serve. So first serve is working so far. And another really good one. So what I liked about the last two serves is we want to go back to these. She's also learned to really move her serves around. So she picks really good spots to uh, really give her opponent not the same look of first serves. And especially here, the, the wide one is something that she's really put a lot of work in. And then we see that Faisal wants to do the exact same thing. Same thing there with the chop return. So one of the adjustments that she's going to make later is, and this is something that if you're watching this, you have a server who is hitting really good serves. There's one option, of course, to move back um, because that gives you more time to react. Now, the problem with that is it opens up angles. And that is really what hurt Erica at that moment. A little later in the video, you'll see that she's actually coming up to the line a lot closer and really, really trying to work hard on shortening her take back to at least take the angles away from Faisal. And you'll see that that actually works pretty well a little later. So that was really smart play um, adjusting there. So that's a kick that she'll probably not see a whole lot. And that was just pushing her way behind the doubles alley. So a good wide serve, potentially a little close, and again, picking really good spots there on the serves. Yep, and that's just something that you want to work on or she needs to still work on a little bit. Again, when somebody's doing a really good job there, reacting to a pretty good serve, hitting it basically right back at you, at your feet, right here. And that's a pretty deep ball. And you see that Erica is basically moving backwards and she's popping up. And that's something that happens when you're trying to lift the ball or slow the ball down basically um, by falling off backwards off the, the shot. So a really good option there is, and I don't know if you've, you've watched Angie Kerber really um, closely, she's doing a heck of a job. They're sitting really low against that ball. And that's something that we've worked on. It's gotten a lot better, I think, on this one here that needed a lot more work there, staying low and just hitting against that ball. Good wide serve again, opens up the angles. So that is a better job coming up to the ball. And that shows a much higher IQ, tennis IQ, than she's had before. Um, in the past, on balls where she really has to hustle, it she tended Erica tended to just go for a you know highlight super real shot. And what I like about this point is that she's deciding to just dip that ball down low. And even had, if Faisal had gotten it, all he had was to lift it up to her. So that's a really smart play there. And I believe that was a little bit of a deep ball that was played. Good first serve there, but much better return. Oh, that's a really good point. It develops here. That's a really good point. Um, if you want to be more aggressive on this point, I think Faisal could have done a better job right after this first ball when Erica has pulled that all the way. So you see how far she's back. She's not even in the um, screen here. He's basically making her move all this way and short hops the return really well, but then chooses to stay back at the baseline. I would have liked for him um, on the second ball 
you're sitting in here now, immediately follow this up and come in because then he's taken the net and the point most likely is over at that point. It's getting a lot of action on that serve. A little more footwork needed there to adjust to that ball. So that is a really good ball. Let's look at that again. I really like that how Erica is recognizing that she's got her opponent in trouble, big time in trouble, because it's a really good wide serve. So the cue is, the visual cue is, the person is literally hitting the ball behind the alley and you see um, the person fully stretched. That's just gonna be a very passive ball. Whether you're then coming in and taking that as a swing volley, albeit below net line, which gave me a heart attack here on the sideline, um, or you wait till the ball bounces and then take it on the top, that is really good awareness of the court and off the ball. So that's also something that she's gotten a lot better at. Yep. That I would have liked to see her attacking a little bit more before. The return is very short and that's a very attackable ball to me. She needed to come in with that and she could have gone either way. She could have gone forehand or backhand. Yep, better job staying low on that one. That's a good approach. So again, really good serving by Faisal. Um, neither of them hit any double faults in the entire uh, set and a half. So that's a good jam passing shot there. So that one Faisal needs to come up even if that ball is out. He sees his opponent stretched and he should have come up right away. And that is something, obviously Erica is gonna watch this too, I'm hoping. Uh, that is a ball here, first serve, and she's gonna be off balance caught off balance by a decent return. And instead of wanting to go, let's look at that. Instead of wanting to go inside in here, you see her, her balance. She's off her back foot, but she's not really loaded, meaning she can't really transfer her body weight forward again. So instead of going inside in, which is the play, at this point because you're you know freezing your opponent on the outside and then you have the deuce court open if you feel that if you have the awareness that you're falling off the ball then you just want to go back inside out because your recovery is only up to about here if you're making this ball you'll have to recover all the way over here and that just leaves you vulnerable on the deuce court if you're making that ball A little bit too short that serve. Again, a little bit more footwork there by Faisal to get up and into the ball. That's better. Good job staying low. I think that's a little deep. Good, Faisal needs to be up already. Good, good defense here, good long point. There we go. But again, make your opponent hit one more ball. So and this is the point here where Erica has decided to step in a little bit more. Again, um, I don't have a wide angle on this one and it's not the super best camera position. Um, I'm working on that, by the way, uh, to get a tripod that's a little higher so I have much better quality like all the other um, people that regularly post their matches. But this is something she's, trying to catch her for the first serve somewhere around the service line and that allows her to actually keep the contact point between her hip and her shoulder. Um, on a lot of those higher kick balls, she was kind of somewhere around 
head level. And that's of course when you're losing control over the ball there. On that one, she's just not getting out of the way enough. It's a good serve. Make him play. Get him in. There we go. Cut that off there a little bit. So let's go back to this last ball because that is one. So a decent first serve. And I think the return is not really pressuring a whole lot. And instead of moving up and taking time away from Faisal and just going with a really big target here, she's just not moving up enough to that ball. And that's why she's shanking there. So a little stationary on that one. Would have liked a couple more steps up. Yep, and you see that so it's getting a little windy out there so this is very typical for afternoons or can be very typical so it's a little unpredictable how the balls are blowing but that's something that you have to work with so you see here the balls are just not jumping at all where you thought they were Both of them doing a good job adjusting. And that, to my mind, that's a backhand. So I think they both started laughing in the middle of the point there. Yeah. So Faisal, when you're watching that, that's definitely one of, I think, some characteristic forehands here. So go ahead when you have the shorter ball, so you're not turn enough, right? So ideally, you would have your right hip come around your right shoulder a little bit more and this is where you can hit that hop hop step uh, we can work on that on other times but you're basically just a little too stationary and waiting for the ball to come to you instead of really attacking the ball here with your feet and with the proper um, upper body and hip rotation And that's better that's better IQ that's where it worked to go behind Erica same ball here little greedy she identifies the right ball so we have that bounce somewhere around here to my mind she has enough time to get around the ball and find her forehand and just does not really come forward again and subsequently shanks it a little bit. So um, those were the points because shortly after that it actually started pouring and I also had to leave um, and we were um, done with that. But if you like this format, let me know in the comments. Um, I am offering match analysis. I do that a little differently. Obviously I give you a little bit more of um, a recap of what certain things are that are standing out. This was more a little bit for players that I already know and we know the terminology, we know the patterns that we're working on, but I hope you liked it. Um, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you soon here again on my channel.